Hello, my name is Austin Bork, and I'll be going over today a foam rolling exercise here for your lower body. So what you'll need today is a mat, a foam roller, which you can get anywhere at Target, Walmart, all sorts of different places at your local workout exercise store. Don't forget your water, always need that. Then remember, always consult a doctor before exercising, even something as light as foam rolling. It's very important that you make sure you get your doctors okay. All right, so to start out, we're not gonna hit the floor and use the foam roller just yet. We're going to start with something very easy just to get the body in motion, ready to go for this light exercise. So we're just gonna start with hip rotations. There you go. Lift your leg up as far as you can to the left, as high as you can, then back down. So you can see I'm starting here with my left leg. If you need to, you can use the wall for some support, just like that. And once you're feeling activated, like you're getting a good stretch one way, usually I do about 10 before I feel that. You try to get as far backwards as you can here, then back down. Once you hit 10, we're gonna go the opposite direction. So, just like that. Now we're bringing it as far back and forward. Just like that. You wanna to try to get that knee as high as possible. If you only can get up this high, that's okay. Go ahead and do that. This is about you, your workout, and your improvement. We wanna see that increase of your flexibility, not someone else's. Just like that. Once you're done with this side, go ahead and switch legs. All right. You can see I'm using the wall for support there. You can go ahead and do that if you need to. Otherwise, you can go ahead and do a freestanding one. You can see I'm going forward. So once I'm doing 10, done with 10 this way, I'm gonna do 10 in the other direction. Get that knee nice and high. Try to get that rotation nice and big. All right, backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Oh man, feel that right in your hips and your glutes? Yep, that's where you should feel it. Gets those hips nice and relaxed, ready for an exercise. So the next thing we're gonna do is a leg squeeze. So what you do with that is you're going, again, you can use the wall if you need to. So just to demonstrate, you're gonna grab your right leg, your right hand, pull it in towards your chest, try to stay nice and tall. You're not reaching your chest towards your leg, you're reaching your leg towards your chest. Then back down. Now you're gonna do nine more of those. Good job. And if you don't need the wall, go ahead and bring that other arm in. Try to get that nice big squeeze with both arms then. Increase that stretch. Otherwise, just do what you can with the one arm. Just like that. All right, three more. Great job, everyone. All right, go ahead and switch sides, feeling good. If you need to, grab a little drink of water. And move to the other side. All right, go, yep, yeah, go ahead and squeeze that with both arms if you can. If not, use that wall for support. There you go, four, get a big squeeze. Five more. Three. One more. Good job, all right. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna move down to the floor and start working on that foam rolling exercises. So you can see I have a smaller one here. They come in all different shapes and sizes, but you want one that's easy for you to use 
So go ahead, put it on the floor here. And what we're gonna do, the first one is a calf foam roll. So I'll just go to the side here so you can see that a little bit easier. Is your own brain foam roller, you're going to get in what I like to say, knees tucked in position here to start out. You don't necessarily have to. to for me, it's a little bit easier. I'll stick out my right foot. I want to take the foam roller, place it underneath in the middle of my calf there, and I'm just going to press down. Press my calf down and roll back and forth. Back and forth. I'm going to do that 10 times. I like to use my arms to lift myself up a little bit to get that roll. You don't necessarily have to. You can just keep your leg pressing and just roll it back and forth like that as well on that calf. Remember, we're only going the length of the calf on this one. If you want a deeper stretch, go ahead and lift up your body and press harder into that foam roll. There you go. If your calves are tight, you're going to feel a lot of pressure. If you feel that pressure, you can go ahead and take a break and place your calf back down, press it back, and go again. You want to keep going until that pressure relaxes or re relaxes. So once you feel that relaxation, that means you can move on to the next leg there. Don't forget to breathe. All right, once you feel good, Go ahead and switch legs. So same thing. So I like to go back in this position here with my knees close to my chest. I'm hugging my knees here. Bring my left leg out. Place the foam roller underneath my calf there. Like my other leg off to the side there so I can roll a little bit easier. And then I'm just gonna roll back and forth. And if you want, you can lift yourself up with your, your butt off the ground and press that leg a little bit harder into the foam roll. So I need to adjust a little bit more because I can feel that I need pressure in that upper calf a little bit. Don't forget to breathe. Try to go to 10. If you can't hit quite 10, that's okay. Go ahead and take a break. And, try, and then go again, try to get that pressure release. Once you get that pressure release, so basically what it is, you'll keep foam rolling, keep foam rolling, you'll feel really tight, really tough, and all of a sudden, whew, your muscles, all of a sudden it just melts all that pressure, and it's gone and it feels great. That's what you're looking for there. And that's what you're looking for, and that's how you know you're done foam, foam rolling a muscle, if it's tight. If it's not tight, you're not necessarily gonna feel that pressure. Okay. Three more rolls, one, two, three. All right, back down. Great job, good start there. Now the next thing we're gonna do is work on those hamstrings. So it's the same thing with those calves. Again, I like starting with my knees hugged in here. You don't necessarily have to. I think it's just easier, again, to start there from a, because it's an easy position to get in and out, in and out of then. So you're going to go ahead, take the foam roller out of the way, put your right leg out, lift your right leg up, put the foam roller right underneath that hamstring. Now what you're going to do, again, you don't have to lift up your butt, you can just go back and forth like this. But if you're feeling strong and you're feeling capable, go ahead and lift your butt off the ground, press that leg harder into that foam roller, and back and forth. Again, I'm feeling a little bit of pressure there, so I might go a little bit longer on this round, and that's okay. This is for you, this is your recovery day. So you go do what you need to do to recover. And for me, is I might need to go a, bit long, a little longer on my hamstring today. I'm feeling that, Ooh. Bad time to do a hamstring and lower body day yesterday, because I'm feeling this, ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit longer. If you guys uh, wanna join me, you can. Otherwise, you can keep on roll. You can go on to your next hamstring here, try to get that other side. But I'm gonna go a little bit longer on this right hamstring, because I can feel that pressure. Pressure. Oh, there's the melt. It's feeling a lot looser now. 
not nearly as much pressure. So I can go ahead and I'll take my knees, I'm gonna hug my knees here. I'm gonna put my left leg out, lift my left leg up, sneak the foam roller underneath that leg. I'm gonna lift my butt off the ground because I'm feeling strong. Now I'm gonna foam roll my left leg now, or my left hamstring is what I should say. Oh, there we go. So it's feeling really good. Again, if you're not feeling like you can lift your butt off the ground, you can definitely just scoot your butt across the floor here or across the mat and still get that nice roll and that nice amount of pressure into that foam roll. That is totally okay. Oh, there you go. It's feeling really good. Ah, there we go. Oof. All right, I'm done with my hamstrings there. If you want or if you need to, go ahead and keep foam rolling those hamstrings. So the next thing we're gonna work on is our quadriceps. So those are a little different because since the quads are at the front of your top legs here, so these muscles here, we need to work them a little differently or help them relax a little differently. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay on our stomachs here. So just like that, this is where we're gonna start out. And now what you're gonna do is bring your right leg out, okay? Once you do that, you're gonna lift up a little bit you're going to place this underneath your left quad in the middle of your left quad there you can see this legs out your arms are going to be on you can either be on your hands or you can be on your forearms and you're just going to push forward and then push back push forward and then push back oh my quads are super tight today so don't mind me as I'm here maybe a little bit longer than I normally would. I'm gonna need this. Oh, I'm gonna readjust a little bit, not perfectly in the middle of my quad there. There we go, and I'm gonna roll back and forth. Whew. Don't forget to breathe through this. And if again, if you need to, if that's a lot of pressure, what you can do sometimes is just hold it in that one spot where you feel the most pressure. Just hold it there, count to 10, then Lift yourself off the paddle a little bit. So I will do that. And then go back to that spot where you feel a lot of pressure. Press down for about, again, 10 to 30 seconds, depending on how you feel. And that's what's gonna help release that pressure, release that tightness. Once you feel less pressure or less of that tightness, you can go ahead and move on to the other quad. Yeah, I'm feeling it today, guys, so this might be a little bit longer, and I apologize for that. Whew, but, you know, we all need recovery day. It's really important. Helps get your muscles stronger faster. Helps so you can get to your next exercise faster. All right, I'm feeling pretty good, so I'm going to move on here. If you feel like you need to be on that left quad a little bit longer, go ahead and stay here. Otherwise, you can move on to the right quad with me. So go ahead and push up, take that foam roller out. Ah, oh, feels good, right? Go ahead and bring your right leg back in, push the left leg out there, and we're gonna sneak this guy underneath your right leg, underneath that right quad. And what you're gonna do is the same thing. You're going to roll forward, roll backwards, roll forward, Roll backwards. Oh man, I'm feeling it guys. Really feeling it. Whew. Gotta breathe, gotta breathe. Don't worry, I'm saying these things to remind myself just as much as you. As to remind you guys at home to do these things. All of us need to remember good form, including me. Now I'm feeling in that quad, it's particularly in the middle of the quad. So I'm gonna stay there and I'm gonna hold it over that spot. So I'm gonna to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm gonna take myself off it for a few seconds here. One, 
two, three. Now I'm going to press back down. And I do feel some of that pressure release from that one spot there. And it feels a heck of a lot better, but it's still tight. So I'm going to keep rolling here for a little bit longer. I'm going to find that spot again right there. I'm going to count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift my body off. Count to three. One, two, three, and back down. And oh my gosh, that knot's a lot better. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead, lift my body off of it, take this out. Oh, my quads feel so much better after that. Oh man, they were tight. Oh man, now I can just kick around, move around, feeling really good. Next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna move to our sides here. So there's some muscles in the side of the lower legs that get really, really ignored and they just, they really need a good stretch. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to your side here, just like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put this on the bottom of your leg there between the leg and the mat. What you're gonna do is there's, a mu there's muscles there that are very tight for most of us. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean back and forth until you feel a lot of pressure. Once you feel that pressure, that's that muscle there. And you're just gonna roll back and forth. And again, you can use the same strategy I used on the last one, especially if it feels like a lot and just stay there for a few seconds. Then lift off. That's okay. So I'm feeling a lot of pressure here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to lift my butt up a little bit. 1, 2, 3, back down. And I'm going to roll again. Start rolling. I'm going to go forward towards the camera, then back away forward towards the camera, back away. And it's okay. You can see I'm using my one arm and my other forearm to keep me level there. That's why you can do some people, you can see they can keep their one hand super high. I am not one of them. And you don't have to be either. You can be like me, who needs a little bit more support. And again. So this is actually pretty loose for me. This is not normal. And if you need additional support, what you can do is the top leg, the foot can hit the ground there and save you from that pressure a little bit. There you go. I'm feeling really good about this. All right, guys, go ahead and use your arms. Push yourself off. Whew, there you go. So you should feel it in the side of your leg there. That's what you're feeling on the outside part of your leg. Once you feel good about that, go ahead and switch sides. What you're going to do is again, go to your side here and just make it so you can see it a little bit better. You're going to take this, lift your butt up, put this in between your leg and the floor. And you're going to lean forward and lean backwards, basically. So roll forward roll back until you find that pressure point. And mine's right there. So that's where the muscle is there. I'm gonna go roll back and forth. And you can see I'm not rolling very far. And you don't have to roll very far to massage that muscle. And again, if you need to, you can use your arm and your leg to take some of that pressure off. And when you're feeling good, you can put a little more pressure on it. Feeling awesome there. Oh, right there. That's where I'm gonna stay. I feel a lot of pressure. So I'm gonna to count to 15 on this one. Yeah, that much pressure. I'm feeling a ton. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I'm gonna keep rolling. Oh man, it feels good. I'm good, that feels great. That pressure is gone. Oh. One way to tell if you're nice and loose is you can stand up again. And do those hip rotations, test them out, see if you can go further. So I like to put my arm out and see if I can get that a little bit further. And it looks like I can. Looks like I can actually hit my arm. If you watch the video again, I was not hitting my arm. I was hitting just below that. So you can see my legs are feeling a lot looser and just more relaxed in a lot of ways. And that's what you're trying to achieve with foam rolling. So I have a couple more things, then we'll go ahead and I'll say our goodbyes here. So last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna head back to the floor. You guys stay there. And we're gonna work on our backs. So what that looks like here, I'm gonna move my water bottle out of the way so you can see this a little bit better, is I'm going to put the foam roller right there, right on my lower back there. And that's what we're gonna to do today. We're not gonna do upper back today. Lower back is generally used more with your legs so that, and generally can get a little bit more sore and I might need that loosening a little bit. So you're gonna go ahead and lift up through your, you're gonna lift your butt off the ground you're gonna roll back and forth, just the lower half of your body. Oh yeah. There we go, I'm a little close to the wall there, so. Let's go ahead and get a little bit better. You can see I've got my butt lifted off the ground and I'm just going back and forth. And again, if you're feeling a lot of pressure in one spot, just stay here like this. You don't have to move. You can just stay here and let that pressure build up, build up, build up, then melt. Your muscles just let go and it feels great. Now I'm gonna keep rolling a little bit longer because I feel like I need it. All right, we're gonna do one more. And it's our finisher for the day. Go ahead and stay on the floor, don't move. I'm just getting up to make this a little bit easier for me. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna lay down again, but instead of facing it this way on our backs, we're gonna be facing it the long way. So what that means is we're gonna go ahead, again, put this on our tailbone. We're going to lay back there across our spine. And we're just gonna relax over it again. Letting that pressure build up, build up, build up, build up, and then melt. That is the goal with this. So you can see I'm just kind of splayed over it, my knees up. If you want, you can go ahead and splay your legs further, further out. I like them here. I like to have that feeling of control, and that's okay. Oh, God. It feels good. All right, guys, just a little bit longer. If you need to, you can come on up. I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer. Feels too good to let go. My spine is loving this. Is it your spine loving this? All right, I'm coming up in three, two, one. One, one the get out, best way to get out of this is just kind of roll to your side. And then you can come up nice and slow. And then you can roll again to a bear and come back up to your knees and slowly get your way up with a chair. Ah, that was great guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope to do more of these with you guys. So my name's Austin. I'm one of the ACE, personal, ACE certified personal trainers here at Livia. And thanks for joining me on your re relaxing foam recovery day. Thanks, guys.